This is the legendary Dualtron Thunder, one of the world's fastest electric scooters. And this is the new 72 volt Dualtron Thunder 2. It's the same size, but with twice the power, which means it's ridiculously fast. Come with us as we discover how Mini Motors has taken this legend to another level, as we break down the 10 most important changes between the Thunder and the new Dualtron Thunder 2. We'll also reveal one reason why Chuck prefers the original over the Thunder 2. Difference number one, power. Nominal power has more than doubled from the original and peak power is now over 10 kilowatts, which means the Thunder 2 makes more power than the exotic Dualtron X2, rocketing to 30 miles per hour in just 4.4 seconds. Difference number two, double click throttle. The Thunder 2 has so much power that Dualtron uses a special trick to help you control it. At full throttle, the Thunder 2 has 8400 watts of peak power. If you decide you want even more power, a double click unleashes another 10 amps to each motor. That's 1680 watts, or basically an entire Dualtron Eagle Pro worth of extra boost. One downside of double clicking is that it adds a slight delay to your starts, but it makes sense why they don't just give you access to 60 amps all the time. A 60 amp throttle would make it difficult to exit corners smoothly. Think of the double click as the little red safety cover over a missile launch switch. They want to make sure you really mean it. Difference number three, top speed. The Thunder 2 accelerates hard, right past the original Thunder's top speed of 50 miles per hour and continues on to a lofty ESG certified top speed of 58.3 miles per hour. Both scooters feel reasonably stable at speed, but a steering damper would definitely help make things more comfortable. Difference number four, range. With the largest battery of any scooter we've ever tested, it came as no surprise when the Thunder 2 crushed ESG's all-time range record. It covered 59.5 miles in top performance mode, circling our urban range test course for three long hours. The original Thunder took honors for the fifth best range ever, covering 45.2 miles. Even if you don't plan to ride that far, knowing you have battery to spare gives you the freedom to climb hills as fast as you want without range anxiety. Difference number five, flat-proof tires. Just under the front badge on the Thunder 2, you'll see a new badge announcing that the Thunder 2 comes equipped with flat-proof tires. These are the same new tires used by the Cabo Wolf King GT. Aside from being flat-proof, they're also the first load-rated and speed-rated scooter tires we've ever seen. Let's look inside. These new CST brand tires look just like the tubeless tires of the original Thunder, but have a thick, incredibly stretchy, soft rubber coating bonded to the inside surface to prevent flats. The inner coating resists punctures by stretching if a sharp object makes it through the outer layer. Even when we managed to puncture the inner layer, the coating resealed itself instantly, losing zero air pressure over the next 24 hours. Flat-proof tires might be our favorite upgrade from the Thunder to the Thunder 2, because when you have a 100-pound scooter, it's good to know that you'll never have to push it home on a flat tire, since it's not going to fit in the trunk of an Uber. Of course, the flat-proof tires also fit the original Thunder if you decide you want to upgrade on your own. Difference number six, upgraded battery. The Thunder 2's 72 volt, 40 amp hour battery isn't just bigger, it's better. It uses power dense LG 21700 cells that give the scooter 32% more range while only gaining 13% more weight. A bigger battery means you won't have to charge it as often, which is good for longevity. So you're not just getting more miles per charge, but more years of life out of the battery. Difference number seven, aluminum footrest. One of the Thunder 2's signature features is the new rear footrest with an integrated taillight. It looks awesome and makes a great handhold, but to be honest, it's not the best footrest. The top is a little too high and a little too narrow front to back, while the incline section is too steep to use during normal riding. It also has a foot-sized hole in the middle of it. Removing the footrest altogether gives you 2.2 inches more deck to stand on. The good news is that it's straightforward to remove and takes less than five minutes. For super sporty, aggressive riding, the footrest is still nice to have, but for long hauls, we liked having the extra deck space. Difference number eight, rubber deck. The other signature feature, the ultra modern rubber deck, has the benefit of being super easy to clean, but also has a small drawback. It has 31% less grip than the deck of the original Thunder. However, you can get that traction back with some strategically placed grip tape. Best of both worlds. Difference number nine, even more swag lights. 
There's no mistaking when a Dueltron is approaching at night. The Thunder 2 takes swag to the next level, adding synchronized RGB lights to the side of the deck and to the swing arms, so light patterns flow from one section to the next. And like always, you could tune the colors and patterns with the included remote control or turn them off entirely. Difference number 10, lighted control panel. Within easy reach of the left grip is the stunning new control box. It's made from cast aluminum with a rocker switch for turn signals and backlit stainless steel buttons for lights, hazard lights, eco mode, and horn. Even the clear rubber seal around the middle of the box lights up. Our favorite feature on the control panel is definitely that the eco button stays pressed in for eco mode and stands out for OMG mode. So there's no guessing what mode you're in. Difference number 11, side stand. We're sneaking in one more. A seemingly mundane yet important upgrade. The Thunder 2 comes with a beefy adjustable side stand. Nothing ruins the feel of a top shelf scooter more than having it lean like a sinking ship when it's parked. The Thunder 2 stands proud. Pros of the Thunder 2 include world record range, flat proof tires, a beautiful new control panel with mode indication, a footrest that's also a grab handle, and adrenaline inducing power. Pros of the original Thunder include a grippy, comfortable deck, smoother throttle control than the Thunder 2, realistically, all the range and speed you'll ever need, less weight than the Thunder 2, and of course, it's less expensive. There's a reason the original Thunder is a legend. It's rapid, but composed. In fact, its smooth but fast style is the reason that it's Chuck's favorite of the two for commuting home. But if you want more of everything, range, top speed, and adrenaline, the Thunder 2 is just the right kind of bonkers. Even without the double-click throttle, the Thunder 2 picks up well beyond where the Thunder 1 leaves off. And with the double-click, well, just be sure you're ready. For complete specs and performance measurements on both of these scooters, check out the ESG website at electric-scooter.guide. And check back in two weeks for our full review of the Thunder 2.